Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right to this video. So for, for today, I'm going to be showing you this box of goodies McCart sent over to me. They sent over a full box of Halloween decor and I'm so excited to show you everything that came in. So they sent over some super cute trick or treat spooky season Halloween charms. There's three little containers of these and not one charm is the same. They are all different and super cute. These were probably my favorite thing in this entire box and these are also for sale on the McCart's website now. Next we have these spooky stickers. They are so adorable. It came with three different sticker sheets. It came with two Halloween and one fall or autumn sticker sheet. And I loved these stickers. I thought they were super cute and very Halloween. And these fall ones were also very nice. I love those. We also have this little sequin pack. Very nice. I loved all these little sequins. There are so many different sequins in here. Like, so many. I love the holographic shine to them. It just made them super spooky and the colors are purple, white, orange, black, just so many sequins in this. Next it came with a black and a white gel polish. And this is just their classic black and white. And it also came with the awesome color. This is also gel polish by McCart and this was their autumn leaf gel polish collection. It came with six colors and then they also sent over two tubes of poly gel. So I wanted to swatch the colors for you guys. I decided not to swatch the black and the white because everyone knows what black and white looks like. These are not any different. They're just the classic black and white gel polish from McCart. And I definitely recommend if you're looking for a good black and white gel polish to grab those. They are very pigmented and very nice to do designs with. So I'm going to be swatching these autumn leaf gel polishes and the two poly gels. We're first going to start off with the autumn leaf gel polish. These were beautiful colors for fall and autumn and I love them. It came with a red, a yellow, two shades of orange, and two shades of green and they were perfect. So this gel polish set is only $21 on the McCart website and it is perfect for fall and I have a feeling it's going to sell out super fast because people are now getting in the fall mood. It is finally fall nails and tons of people are doing fall nails. These um, gel polishes are also perfect for Halloween. It has that red which would be great for blood drips and the two oranges that would be perfect for pumpkins. And you can also get an additional 15% off your entire purchase on the Macar website with my code nailed by Brandy. I will leave my code linked down below and I will also leave the Macar website down below. And everything that I did use in this video was from Macar. If you have any trouble finding anything, please leave a comment down below or DM me on Instagram and I will surely help you out. So here are all the colors. This was one coat of each color and I cured these in my lamp for 30 seconds and they cured great. And I just loved this color scheme. They were so beautiful and it gave me so many fall ideas. So moving on to the poly gel now, I did get two Halloween shades. Um, we have this one, which is Stella Red. They both come with a little instruction manual and it's bubble wrapped, so that's very nice packaging. 
And these are 50 ml tubes, which this tube is so big. I'm so used to like the little 15 ml tubes and this tube was ginormous to me. So these, both of these poly gels were very glittery and had tons of unique glitter in them. And this one, it gave me Halloween vibes, but yet Christmas vibes. So this, that Stella Red, you could also save and use it for Christmas looks. So here was that Cosmo Black. This one was also very pretty. This is actually one of my favorite poly gels. I love this poly gel. I think it's so pretty. It's a black and then it has tons of little fine glitters, but all the fine glitters are all different colors and they're so pretty. So I did cure these each for 60 seconds in my lamp just to make sure I got a full cure and here's what they look like after they were cured. I did decide that I wanted to use the Cosmo Black from this set, these cute little ghost stickers, which I really love that clothesline sticker, yeah, I really love that one, I thought it was cute. And then I also wanted to use these trick or treat sequins, and I was just going to use a mix of those, and then I also decided that I wanted to use those charms because that was my favorite thing, and I definitely recommend you get those if you get nothing else from this video get those charms. So for this nail set I'm going to be using the McCart Extra Extra Long Ballerina Tips and I'm going to be doing the Femi Beauty slash Lazy Girl method. So first I wanted to do an ombre with these sequins so I did take my base coat on these two nails and I put the base coat just where I wanted to add the sequins which was at the tip of the nail. I decided which sequins I wanted to use and trust me there are so many different sequins in this set that you don't even know what you're going to find. When I was dumping these out, I was seeing all kinds of ones that I did not see in the case. So these sequins are totally a score and I love them. They are a little big, so if you are using the bigger ones, you might have a little bit troubles pushing them into the nail. But if you have like a little flashy light, it will be super easy to get them to stick. So I'm just dumping out the sequins that I thought about using and I ended up using just small ones because I was just doing these in the tip of the nail. So I just placed the sequins in the base coat in the tip of the nail and then I cured for 60, 30 seconds and then I then applied the poly gel.
So I did the little sequins on two of the nails and I'm just going to be using that Cosmo Black Poly Gel on all of the nails now. I started off with the pinky. I like to always start off with doing my pinky nail. I just think it's easier to start with my pinky and go up to my thumb. So I first start by adding a little bit of poly gel because I'm doing the Femi Beauty slash Lazy Girl method. So in this method, a little poly gel goes a long way. So what you're going to want to do is just do like a pat pat. I sometimes pull the poly gel, but then once I get the poly gel kind of where I want it, then I just pat it to mold it to the inside of the nail. And remember, a little bit goes a long way. You do not need a lot, you do not even want a lot, because when you slightly gently press it onto your nail, if you add it too much, you will get a lot that squeezes out. But don't worry, this method is super easy and super quick to do that if you do have a little bit squeeze out, you can just gently take your brush and wipe it up. That even happened to me, and I always do this method. So you can never know the correct amount. You just want to try to add the correct amount. And if you have a little bit over squeeze, just take your brush and gently wipe that up. And then cure in your lamp for 60 seconds on the top side and 60 seconds underneath. Now I'm moving on to my ombre nail. So I'm gonna be taking the same Cosmo Black Poly Gel and just patting it to the cuticle area. And this nail I got way too much because I just wasn't understanding that I was only doing the cuticle, so I squeezed the tube a little too much. And I only wanted to put the poly gel in the cuticle area of this nail and then slightly bring it down to create a fade or an ombre. So it is optional to first start with a clear and kind of encapsulate those charms in the bottom, but to make it easier and keep this lazy girl method, I like to just take top coat and apply top coat, and if you can still feel the little sequins, just apply another coat of top coat, and that encapsulates it just fine for me. So after I have this nail how I like it, and I did. I'm just going to gently place it on my nail and then cure the top side for 60 seconds and the underneath for 60 seconds. Now moving on to the rest of my nails. This nail I'm just going to repeat the same process as my pinky nail and cover this whole entire nail with that Cosmo Black. So after I have all the nails on, I do do a final cure of 120 seconds, and then they have a sticky tacky layer. So I'm just going to take my lint-free wipe and some 91% isopurple alcohol and just wipe that tacky layer free, that way it doesn't gunk up my hand file. And because this poly gel was so thick, which I love thick poly gel because it doesn't slide around, but because it was so thick, because of the glitters, I did have some extra glitters on like the top and I just decided to use my e-file to remove that just so it was a little bit easier around the cuticle area. You can use your hand file to do this, but I think an e-file is easier to remove bits from around the cuticle area. So I just am taking this and removing all those little extra glitters that like squeezed out from when I pressed on the nail they were just very difficult to 
wipe away with my brush because they were glitter and like to stick to everything so I just cured them and then just quickly using my e-file to file them off. After I was finished filing, I just took my lint-free wipe again and wiped away all of the dust. After I had all the dust removed, I also went underneath the nails and removed the dust from underneath the nails and removed the sticky layer because they were very sticky underneath. And then I just used my McCart top coat and applied top coat to the underneath of these nails and cured in my lamp for 30 seconds. Now it's time to decorate. Like I told you in the beginning, I decided on those super cute little charms and the ghost stickers. I didn't know what charms I was going to use until I completely finished the design and looked through all of the charms. I had a hard time choosing because I absolutely loved these charms. Halloween is my favorite holiday and I love cute little Halloween things like this. I was just so obsessed. So I looked through all the charms and pulled out my favorite ones and then from my favorite ones, not my favorite ones, my favorite ones that I thought would look good with this set, by the way, <laughs> they were all my favorite ones. So I did decide to go with a little spider, this one, it had, it came with two little spiders, it came with one spider that was AB rhinestones and then one that were just clear rhinestones. So I went with the AB spider and then I also went with that skull and like crossbones would it be? I think. Anyways, I went with those two charms and I ran out of rhinestone glue so I didn't have any. So I tried to just adhere these with top coat but it did not work so... I just added a little bit of poly gel, clear poly gel, and adhered them with some clear poly gel, but it would definitely be so much easier if you just purchased the McCart rhinestone glue. I hope mine comes very soon because I've been missing it. But anyways, you see me struggle here a little bit, but then I do just use the clear poly gel because the top coat just wasn't strong enough to hold these cute little charms on. But I applied both of the charms on the ombre fingers, and then I was going to apply the stickers on the rest of the fingernails. And I did cure the charms with the poly gel for 60 seconds. As you can see, I was struggling. So I just decided to use some clear poly gel, adhere them, and cure for 60 seconds. After I had the charms all on, I then went in with some stickers. I used all the cute little white ghost stickers and just applied them to my fingernails. I am so sorry that I was out of frame so much in this entire part. I just did not have my camera set up properly for me to be working so close to my face. I like to pull my camera a little bit closer when I'm doing designs like this, that way I'm not out of camera the whole time. So I apologize, but all I did was just use my tweezers, pick the sticker off the sheet that I wanted, and then gently placed it on my nail and pressed down and it was stuck. So I just decided to cover all the other nails with these stickers, that way the other nails weren't so bland and the two ombre with the charms were so blinged out and these stickers were super cute and tied the whole set together. After I put on the stickers I just put a top coat on those three nails and cured for 30 seconds. So these stickers, those sequins and the charms are now on the McCart website. You can buy them separately or you can just go big and buy the bundle. 
The bundle is on sale right now for only $27, plus you can get an additional 15% off of that with my discount code. So I definitely recommend just purchase, purchasing the bundle before it sells out. I will link McCart's website down in the description box. After the top coat was cured, I took my cuticle oil and applied that to my cuticles and then I rubbed that in and I loved this set. I loved how it turned out. I loved everything in this kit. So thank you so much McCart for sending me this kit to try out. I loved all the Halloween products and I can't wait to create more nail sets with this kit. I also recommend that you guys don't sleep on the McCart Hot Girl Halloween clearance sale. They are having up to 50% off select items and you can use my discount code for 15% off. And I just love these Halloween nails. I'm so happy that the charms are now available to purchase on the McCart's website because I love these and wanted them so badly. And these sequins are also gorgeous and I love the hollow and there are so many to choose from. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.